Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what makes the difference between a snapshot and a backup. And this is something that I have been confused by, so I just wanted to try to clarify things, uh, hopefully for other people have the same problem as I do. So um, I'm gonna use an analogy here that helped me out a lot. And so the analogy is to imagine that you have a box full of toys. And so when you take a backup of something, what that means is for every single toy in this box, you are making an exact copy of that toy and you can put that copy of the toy into another box uh, so you can have like a backup of it. So if your original box of toys were to get lost, then you have a copy of that toy to replace it with. Um, and so, you know, if you liked Power Rangers, you know, you have a red, blue, yellow, whatever uh, Power Ranger. Um, you would have those exact same Power Rangers in another box. And the reason why this is important stuff is that in cybersecurity, um, when people are uh, attacked by ransomware, what happens is the attacker will take over your machine and they encrypt all of the data on your hard drive. And when they do that, all those files that you have are no longer uh, accessible. So it's just ciphertext. And unless you have that decryption key, then your data is good as gone. And so the attacker will demand payment in Bitcoin or something like that. And unless you pay them, then your data will be uh, encrypted for the rest of time and you won't get any of your Power Rangers back. So to defend against ransomware attacks, if you had a backup of your uh, files on your hard drive, then you're not gonna care if someone steals your red Power Ranger because you already have a second red Power Ranger to put back into your box. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so, uh, ransomware attacks can get very expensive and bankrupt companies. Uh, so it's just very important to kind of understand this stuff for an IT, uh, background. And now moving on to what snapshots are. Snapshots are things like pictures, uh, of your box. And so, you know, if someone was about to do a major update to the operating system, um, you might want to take a picture of how everything is right now so that if something breaks, then you can look at the picture to be like, okay, this is how it should have looked. So the thing to note about a snapshot is that it is a read-only copy of the data, um, and it's a lot lighter weight than a backup because unlike with a backup, you're not actually making a copy of the Power Rangers. You're just taking a picture of them so that if you know your box of toys uh, went through an earthquake or something like that, and all your Power Rangers got mixed up, you know that before the earthquake happened, because you had a snapshot of it, a picture of it, you know that the Power Rangers were in this certain order and they looked this certain way. So, you know, in terms of a real world analogy, uh, this is like having a read only copy of the memory, uh, the system configs, settings, the files on a computer. These are what a snapshot are. It's a read only version of it. Um, and so, you know, when you're launching an EC2 instance and you have that uh, storage attached to your compute, um, your snapshot lets you restore your volume back to five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, um, if you need to. But it's important to note that, you know, that EBS volume, which is basically just a hard drive that Amazon gives you inside of one of their data centers, that drive itself is, uh, is there's only one of them in this case. So if that drive itself blew up, um, the snapshot doesn't really do any good because you don't have the actual copy of everything on it. So it just helps you very quickly revert whatever's on a drive back to where it was previously. Um, it is not doing what a backup does in the sense of, I don't have a second drive copy of everything um, the same way I would have with a backup. So uh, I hope this is clear things up. Thanks all for watching with your questions and be well.